let's talk about how being in my soft girl era changed my life. So being in my soft girl era, better known as stepping into my highest feminine self, has completely changed my life, y'all. And I wanna talk about it while I fix my lunch. The Chick-fil-A salad, and I got a half sugar-free lemonade, half unsweetened tea. This is fire. So this whole soft girl era thing started with just a thought. I thought to myself, I was tired of being masculine. I was tired of trying to control everything in my life and it not coming out the way that I wanted. I decided I wanted to be more feminine. I wanted to be like I used to be when I was younger. And when I was younger, I used to get everything. But I also used to be more on the feminine side, very girly, very... <laughs> and I just passed four years past five years i haven't been able to do that obviously because look today i decided i didn't want to wear lashes but i still made sure to curl my eyelashes and to put a little bit of mascara on all that to say this you guys my life has completely changed in less than 30 days in this way the minute that i decided that i wanted to change i started changing little things and then slowly things just started happening around me so for instance a lot of you guys don't know that i am a singer I was a singer since I was a kid. I did theater, I did plays. I actually have my own enrichment program for kids where I teach them ballet, tap, jazz, gymnastics, and even put on plays with my theater arts class. After COVID, I had to put that on hold and I just never got back to it. It had been about 18 years since I had been personally on a stage and I'm a performer. So months before I started my soft girl era, I got this feeling that I wanted to start singing again. So I started sending out my material, trying to get gigs. I got in contact with a manager to see if I could open up for a band that I used to listen to when I was a kid. They were looking for an opening act. They were gonna be in town. So I submitted my material. I quickly got rejected. I got that rejection. Something inside of me told me that it wasn't a rejection. For some strange reason, I knew that I was gonna get to open up for this band. But I just let it go, smiled, said thank you. Please keep me in mind if you have any last minute changes. And that was it. Like I said, when I hung up, I knew that I was gonna get to perform. One day before the event, my phone rings. And it's the, it's the promoter. They said, Jay, do you still want to be part of the opening act? I said, yes, of course I do. Not even thinking about it, I answered. They said, good, because our opening act just canceled on us. The concert is tomorrow. Can you do it? I said, absolutely. Boom, I did it. You guys even though this might not mean anything to anyone else it means the world to me because for many years i had this fire inside of me just like burning me up with my singing like i had so many regrets as to why i didn't pursue my singing or why i didn't start my enrichment program back up and that was just confirmation that everything that all the work that i'm doing on myself is taken me in the right direction that one step in the right direction has given me blessings and opportunities that I thought were never gonna happen to me again there is a clothing company that is sponsoring me for a tour that I'm not even on yet y'all I have dates and gigs lined up and I have no following on my social medias with my singing stuff it is insane the types of doors that are opening not only that but i am so aware of what i want and what i need and the changes that i need to make that i'm taking action i'm just taking action i'm not overthinking it i'm not thinking about what will happen i'm just doing it like i recently started another challenge which is the 30 30 30 which is helping me get back in shape because when that when that clothing company reached out to me and were, was like, we want you to wear our stuff when you're on stage, you guys, like this little nobody 
like I literally have one performance under my belt and that's it for me to get an opportunity like that it made me realize that I'm the only one that's stopping myself it made me realize that I'm the only one stopping myself from going where I want to go I wake up so grateful and happy that I cannot wait to see what miracles God has in store for me every day because I know something positive is happening. I can feel the shift. I can feel the shift. I can feel the change. And this is your sign. If you've been wondering, should I do something? If you've been having a thought or if you've been having this fire inside of you, like this longing for doing something, do it. Don't wait. Take action. Have a blessed day.